just very quickly about the level of um, runners in, in fields, and it's been under a lot of question. I mean, we had a debate about the all weather in the week and about the not great racing. But when jump racing has three runners and four runner events, and we've seen quite a lot of it early on at Ascot, is that, I mean, what's your view on that? Big prize money, not necessarily in this race, but in general, there's been some big prize money and there's only been two or three runners running. Does, is that something that you'd like to see eradicated? Well, it's, it's hard. It's the way the horse population is going down, the amount of owners in, in the game at the minute, and it's the way it's gone. Even look in Ireland, like entries for maiden hurdles, four years ago we used to have 100 plus horses as we're now there's only about 30 entered you know the the owners are cutting back making a lot of cutbacks and that's hence there's less runners in the races from a jockey's point of view um if you're riding in the race it's brilliant less runners more of a but chance to win do you think it's sometimes to do with the trainers thinking well hold on a minute alpha off is marked 160 that's say and if i put my horse in there and it finishes three lengths behind the handicap is going to look at that and, and take it at face value 100%. and give me a mark at 157 definitely definitely you see them small runner fields right if you go on a handicap you go a, a good uh, gallop from from uh, from the start to finish, there are proper true run races. These three runner novice chases, a lot of the time you can hack canter for two for a mile and a half and then sprint for the last half a mile. So that's why you get bizarre results in some novice chases. And you get that in a novice chase, as you said, Alfaroff. If Alfaroff was to run in a three runner novice chase and there was something rated 100 over hurdles, say, having his debut over fences, and he finishes within five lengths behind them. He'll get a hike of twenty pounds, and he'll probably never win a never handicap win in his race. life. So, so that's, that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's why he yeah. finished too close to this. It's the handicapper's fault. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. he can't see that these are false run races, and he'll, and he'll handicap you on one on one run against a good horse, whereas all your other runs have been below a hundred. And that might well be the case if even if uh, a jockey of Alpha Wolf would say again maybe Daryl Jacob or Noel Feed or whatever eases up and well, wins easily. Yeah, well, you don't want to give it a hard race and yeah, there's no yeah. need to yeah. most of the time. I mean it, it's frustrating for racing fans I think to actually I mean watching might be a bit of a laugh about the three runner race but it's it's a non-event really if but you're people, going you racing can't, you though, can't isn't blame it? You can't blame trainers and jockeys and owners for that because you buy a horse you want it to win a race you, as I said, if you run it in a, in, a, in a novice chase against something that's rated £40 higher than you and you finish within two or three lengths or five lengths or whatever in a false run race, you'll never win a race. And as a jockey, are you, are you conscious of that as of course well? Of you are, yeah. Because you're thinking, well... But you well, want to win. If, yeah. it's your, if it's your ride and you do it... Well, but if you finish fourth or fifth in a particular race where you have no chance of winning, the, the, the prize money there could still be quite good if you finish third, fourth, fifth or whatever. Well, yeah, you only but get you're always conscious, percentage. look, I don't want to finish too close. Exactly. Because the owners now... Or, or, the, or, the, or the trainer will think, well, I've finished three or four lengths off here, and they're going to look at it at face value. Can something be done, and should something be done to, to, well, to stop that? Well, that's down to the BHA, and yeah. they should do something about it, because it's not fair, and that's what's ruining novice chases. Mm. You know, they brought in different rules that they, they put them limited handicaps, and, and, and you couldn't run a novice chase if you were rated higher than 115 to try and stop that. You know, you, once you were under, uh, one, say, 115, you could all run off level weights. But Sir Paul Nichols, Nicky Henderson, John John Neal, they don't have any novice chasers mm. that are rated under 115, so why are they going to run? You know, Nicky Henderson had to bring horses to Ireland, and, and, and he said about Grandaway earlier on in the year, There's no, I can't run him, there's yeah. nowhere to run. But there's also the point that and maybe from another day, but I mean you could have taken my tent or yours up to Kelso and decided to run it at jumpers bumpers. So there are arguments both. But sides. then but then that's a ground thing as well, the yeah, horse yeah. Totally ground. Yeah. You're going up running Kelso Good. and heavy ground today, so it's yeah. um, it is a bit of a vicious circle. Okay.